Welcome everyone. Hey, my name is Eugene and this is my little bitty cooking show for you to eat. And uh, I am all about whole foods, plant-based cooking. Oh, and uh, doctor's orders, no oils. I bet I got something good for you. And if you want to adopt a healthier way of eating, come on in, check it out. Hey there, everybody. Check this out here. Now, this is my barbecue jackfruit sandwich. I know, if you look at the title of the video, it says this is about french fries, and that's what we're missing here. We're missing some french fries, okay? Now, this isn't a crap that you're going to go down to the burger place, the Mickey D's, the Burger Queen, or whatever, and get that's been fried in oil that's going to screw your heart up and all that crap. We need to make us some good good french fries to go with a sandwich like this here. But first I'm going to tease you with this bad boy here. So canned jackfruit. You want the green unripened. We put some sauce on it, barbecue sauce. I doctored it up, put me some soy sauce, some yuzu kosho sauce. It gave it that extra little twang on it. It makes it so good. Put it on some good seven grain bread. Throw me some kale on it because hey, eat your greens, right? Got me some uh, fresh onion and uh, pickled me some jalapenos. Get the flavor of jalapeno mouth. Yeah, it got a little red blood on there. Here, let's give us a close up on this bad boy here. There you go. Take a look at that bad boy right there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I got to eat this. This is my lunch here. I love these wax paper wrappers here. Let's me make a real messy sandwich and not get it everywhere. Mmm, well, say I tried. This bad boy right here. I've seen some of the other air fryers and they're so damn small. Hell, you can barely make this like a, a half a serving with it. This one here will make about a serving, enough for two people to share a french fries and you got plenty of room on it. It's got a thick as hell glass thing on it. Sorry it ain't that clean, but hell, I'm a slob anyways, and I've been using it. Here, so we're going to make us some sweet tater fries today. Cook it up here in my air fryer. Check the link down below. I'll show you where you can get this exact air fryer here. Uh, the miso paste that we're going to put it, and this is going to be so good. And you're going to need you a good sandwich to go for it. I recommend you make a jackfruit sandwich. Okay, let's get to making us some sweet tater french fries. As you can see there, I got a half of a sweet potato. You got to cut these sweet potatoes in, uh, in half. If you're going to use a commercial uh, french fry cutter like this thing here, look at all that stress and straining I'm doing. If I'd have had it down lower, it'd been easier. But still, cutting these sweet potatoes is about as hard as Chinese algebra being explained in Latin backwards, okay? So uh, cut them in half there because you don't want to be cutting a finger off or anything like that. Check the link down below. This this uh, french fry cutter is pretty doggone spiffy and it makes quick work of these uh, sweet tater fries. And I want to add some flavor to my french fries. That is some uh, white organic miso paste. And uh, yeah, it's got some salt in it, but not a lot, not so doggone much. But do remember, it's not, you know, real super low in sodium. So, uh, you know, hey, a dab will do. All we want to do is get a little something sticking on there because we want to add some flavor up next. Got some garlic powder, got some cumin powder, got some onion powder, and then next we're going to put some Bragg's liquid aminos on it. And uh, we're going to make these french fries here just all soaked up and happy. And uh, yep. We're ready to throw it in our uh, Big Boss air fryer. Uh, you got the little grate on the bottom. We got the basket. I use a piece of parchment paper because I uh, we're not going to use any oil at all. And uh, yep. You figured it out. Throw your french fries in there and let's go ahead and plug this bad boy in. I cook mine at 450 degrees for 25 minutes. After 12 minutes, I give them a quick stir. Stir them up and look at them. They're starting to crisp up a little bit there. That's at the uh, the halfway mark. And then when they're done, yeah, boy, let's take this stuff out and take a good look at this. There you go. And there's that bad boy in action there. All right, hey, it's time to plate this stuff up and start doing some munching. Now with this air fryer, you got your handy dandy grabber there. Be careful, the inside of that son of a bitch is hot. You don't want to have a hunk of skin sticking on it there. 
And uh, yeah, buddy. So I tell you what, this is one sweet potato, and that's going to give you a great big serving. It's enough for two. Um, or one hungry boy, but you know what? I get to pig out like this eating whole food plant-based and I'm losing weight. I've lost 25 pounds in about three months. All right, everyone. Now, hey, I hope you enjoyed the video here. Check into an air fryer. If you're serious about whole food plant-based eating with no oils, you need one of these here. And don't get, don't spend 80 bucks and get one of them little bitty some bitches that you can barely make anything in of. This here's got some room. Hell, I'd even like it bigger, okay? But for me, I mean, primarily I make one serving and a medium sized and decent sized sweet potato or baked or, or russet potato sliced up. Pretty much fills this basket here. I'm a big boy. I do like my eating, but hey, I'm losing weight and I'm feeling great. So stick. If you're getting started on the Whole Foods plant-based program, stick with it. Stay with it. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Click subscribe. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching.